Welcome to the Old Mutual Two Oceans video series. In this video, we focus on the importance of pacing for runners with information by Associate Professor Andrew Bosch, brought to you in conjunction with the Sports Science Institute of South Africa, the official scientific, medical, and wellness partner of the Old Mutual Two Oceans Marathon. There is an old rule of thumb that still holds true. For every minute gained in the first half of a distance race by running too fast, double that will be lost in the second half. In other words, if the first half is run too fast, it will be almost impossible to maintain pace in the second half. For the Old Mutual Two Oceans 56K, it is very important to respect the distance, pace yourself conservatively, and avoid setting a goal that is too ambitious. If you're feeling good in the first few kilometers and think you should speed up, hold back. If you're still feeling good at halfway, continue to hold back until you have done at least 70% of the distance. And if you are still feeling good at that distance, only then increase your speed. Follow this formula to work out your pace for the Old Mutual Two Oceans Half Marathon. Start by setting a realistic goal time based on a recent 10 km race over a moderately hilly route. And multiply that time by 2.2 to give you approximate half marathon time in minutes. For example, if you ran a 10k in 45 minutes, then 2.2 times 45 is equal to 99 minutes for the half, assuming that you are well trained for the half as the 10k. Now that you have your approximate half marathon time, you can use it to calculate your average pace required per kilometer by dividing your goal time by 21.1. In our example, 99 minutes divided by 21.1 kilometers equals 4.7 minutes per kilometer, which is the same as 4 minutes 42 seconds per kilometer. This pace calculation only holds true on a course where the first and second halves are about the same in difficulty. However, the Two Oceans half has a long steep hill early in the first half and another nasty climb near halfway at Southern Cross Drive. Therefore, you can adjust the average of 4.42 minutes per kilometer to allow extra time for these hills, knowing that you will make back some of that time on the downhill sections. To work out your pace for the Old Mutual Two Oceans 56km Ultra Marathon, Begin by setting a realistic finishing time based on a recent race time from a marathon run on a hilly course. Then take your recent marathon time in minutes and multiply it by 1.437. This will give you your expected finishing time. For example, if you run a marathon in 3 hours and 30 minutes, or 210 minutes to be exact, you will multiply 210 by 1.437, which equals 301.8 minutes which is just on 5 hours. Your predicted time will assume that you have trained correctly for the ultra distance. Use your approximate time to work out your average pace by dividing it by 56. In our example, that would be 301.8 divided by 56, which equals 5.4 minutes per kilometer, which is the same as 5 minutes and 24 seconds per kilometer. Since the first half is very flat compared to the second half, the Old Mutual Two Oceans Ultra Marathon is one of those races where we have to break the rule and run the first half about 10 seconds per K faster than the average you've calculated. In the example given, this will mean running the first half at 5.14 minutes per kilometer instead of 5.24 minutes per kilometer. This allows you to run up the big climbs like Chapman's Peak and Constantinic substantially slower than the average pace of 5.24 minutes per kilometer. Taking into account that you will run down Chapman's a little faster than the average pace, you will finish the race very close to your time of 5 hours in our example. Knowing how to calculate your approximate race time and pace will help you reach your goals at the Old Mutual Two Oceans Marathon.